This right here is one of the coolest devices I bought this year. It's absolutely fantastic. This is the Amazon Kindle Paperwhite, and I could go on and on about all of the fantastic things about this. Like, I mean, seriously, I could go on and on. But one of the most disappointing things when I got this is that my Google Play library doesn't work on this. This is Amazon, this is Kindle. They want you to buy from their app store, and so when you buy from like Apple or Google, you can't, you can't move the books over here. But after doing a lot of research online, I found that there is a way to download your books from Google, remove all of the encryption, and then sideload them onto this. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that right here. You are going to need a laptop to make this work. So if you're just using your cell phone or something, you won't be able to do this because there is some special software that you need. But we're gonna go into Google Play Books because this is where my library is. In Google Play Books, you should see your entire library right here, all of the books that you want. Click on the three dots for the book you're trying to download and click Export. This is going to download a file to your computer. But it's important to know that the file that you download is not the actual book. This is called an ACSM file. This is basically a permission slip that Google gave you to let you download the book from somebody else. In this case, Adobe. So we need to download Adobe's book downloader called Adobe Digital Editions. It's free, don't worry about it, just download it and install whichever operating system you have. In our case, it's Mac. But once you have this installed, drag the permission slip that we downloaded from Google onto this, onto this program and you'll see that this will actually download the book. Give it a sec and boom, you can see that we have The Martian on my laptop right now. It's themartian.epub. This is the book that we're trying to download. The problem with this file is that it only works on this one laptop. It's been encrypted to only work on this one device. And if you want to be able to get it on your Kindle, you need to remove that. So we're going to download two more pieces of software. One of them will convert it from Google's format to Amazon's format. And the other piece of software will remove all of that encryption so this can actually read it. The first piece of software you're going to want is called Calibri. Uh, they've got it available for Windows, Mac OS, Linux. They've got it for basically everything. But it's completely free. Once you get that installed, you're going to want to open it up. And this is going to be the thing that converts it from Google's format to Amazon's format. The second piece of software that we need is a plugin for Calibre, the thing that we just installed, and it's called DDRM, as in remove DRM. Click on that first link, it should be a GitHub link, and this will give you a zip file. Just download that, bring it to your downloads, it's super easy to do. Then you're gonna go to Calibre, go to preferences, click add plugin, and then you'll see this thing that says load plugin from file. You wanna click that, and it'll take you to the zip file that you just downloaded, the DDRM.zip file. Import that. Click the check mark a couple times, and you should see that that's successfully installed. Once that's good, drag the EPUB file that you downloaded over to Calibri and then click convert. This should convert it from Google's format to Amazon's format. It'll take like a couple seconds and then you're good to go. You should see the files right here. You see a .epub right here and a .mobi. Those are two different formats for different e-readers, but .mobi is the one that you want. That's the one that your Kindle can actually read and we're gonna use it. Then you just take a USB cable, drag that file, drop it onto your Kindle and you can read all of your books from there. You can see we are now reading The Martian. I got this from my Google Play library. I have all of the links that you're gonna need in the video description of this for the Adobe Digital Editions, for Calibri, and for the plugin. So all three of those, you can just click the links here if you, yeah.